Hello, hello. Today, I wanted to speak about the New World Closed Beta. I got my key on Monday, I want to say. Yeah, it was about Monday, I think. And of last week, of course. And for the most part, my experience was very positive and I really enjoyed the beta for what it was. I will say there were some aspects I didn't enjoy and some UI bugs that were just, you know, well, just kind of whatever. The UI bugs, I would say that were not that big of a deal, but that, like I said, there was some aspects about the general beta itself, not the gameplay, the beta that I don't necessarily necessarily agree with so we'll get into that here in a moment so just to speak about the gameplay's actual performance i just want to oh, before i even get into that i want to mention that there was an nda uh, unfortunately which we'll talk about in a minute but um i can't really show any footage or give any kind of like severe insane uh you know background stuff about it so just keep that in mind so uh, but just from the perspective of was the game functional and was there anything super broken or wrong with the game? Like, no, there, there wasn't. The game was actually really, really good. It was honestly flawless. I didn't have any kind of major issues that I would classify as game breaking or that need massive attention. If there are any of those issues, you can put them in the comment section below and maybe you experienced something different. But for me, I didn't experience anything like that. It was a purely like probably the most functional game that i've played on the console market that has come out in recent years which is insane because it's it wasn't exactly the most optimal thing on pc i'd say the most negative thing about the beta is that that would lead me to talk poorly about the game is to like you know be aware of the current community that is the pc community i think that is the biggest issue right now it's just a giant community issue more so than the actual game and what i mean by that is the pc community is severely unhappy to the point where no matter how good the game actually is they are unwilling to overlook the past mistakes of amazon game studios and accept the new direction the game is moving towards and that kind of sucks because like i'd say the game is actually worth a a pretty good investment investment of time it's i think it's great honestly but the pc community is just in such a giant uproar that they are not happy at all it doesn't matter if the game is really good it really whatever it could be the greatest game in existence and the the wrongdoings that happened on pc still will stay alive in their heads for the rest of eternity and there's never going to be a chance that they're going to overlook that and i'm not going to sit here and say that the frustration is like you know completely out of pocket so some of it is but like the, their frustration and anger is definitely warranted they i, I remember on pc because i am a former pc player as well but it, it wasn't the greatest response they didn't have the <laughs> they didn't have it all put together like they should have which i think they learned their lesson and I, I it's sad to say this but i want to say like pc was kind of like the beta testers for for console which is very weird it, like that's super crazy to actually think because usually it's kind of like I, I don't even know like i wouldn't even assume that usually when something gets released on console it's either just really bad or really good and for pc to kind of get done like that is kind of crazy because it's like unheard of that doesn't really happen very often with that being said i do want to point out and also by the way the, the this footage in the background is not from the beta so amazon please do not like you know kill me hex me I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute as well again with the, the nda and stuff but like this is this is this is just footage i found on youtube links will be in the description to the channels used that have uh footage in the background so uh discord's also in there if you want to hit me up as well but yeah. So the whole point of this video is to highlight the positive changes and give an actual unbiased take on how the game is shaping up for the console release. I want to warn you, I will be making a lot of comparisons to other console MMORPGs such as Black Desert Online, Final Fantasy, and other console MMOs that just, you know, exist over here because this is a rather dry MMO space for actual fantasy, like like you know fantasy genre mmo styles unlike uh, like destiny would be like an fps shooter mmo kind of thing but like it's it's not it's not quite similar but i'm not going to really talk too much about destiny because i don't really see it in the same space even though it could technically be classified as an mmo i don't see it in the same way maybe that's wrong but that's just how i'm going to you know move forward with that so the reason for me mentioning other console mmo rpgs is because i think it's important to understand the console market and why this change for amazon game studios can actually be a positive one as long as they know what they're doing for example currently black desert is going through a lot of changes 
changes and most of them are not very positive which kind of you know it's not great uh, I'm, I'm a content I'm a partner content creator for Black Desert so it's like I've been playing this game for over four years so I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this game and let me tell you this game is an absolute wasteland right now and a lot of the players are currently looking for another game to jump ship to because of the game is just poor state just in the past couple months alone more than five actual partnered content creators have quit the game and just hung up the mantle and given up on the community and development on the game it's just they've lost faith in it and they've moved on to other games just because like i said it's it has been very positive over here for a while. That may not sound like a giant issue, but Black Desert on console, it, it just does not have a lot of content creators, especially on the YouTube side of things. Most of them are streamers that are averaging around 40 to 60 views on a good day. Keep in mind, that's not a dig at the creators. That is a product of the game not having a lot of viewers and support in general. That is not the streamer's fault. A lot of these guys are actually super entertaining with great personalities and understand of just how to like actually stream a game and be good at it they are just putting all their time into a game that's not exactly respecting their talents either the majority of the console community actually does not really care much for the game on here unfortunately and they typically are hating the game no matter what comes out due to just the neglect of the developers and lack of communication since the cms have all gone radio silent for months and now with almost no updates on the console side of things you can just kind of get a general vibe by this screenshot from the console discord during the heidel ball which is one of the largest events for you know bdo in general where they give a, a massive updates on content to come and things that are just going to be really hyped up and overall is just going to be a really really big event and even they had a giant irl event as well that was held i believe in france i want to say I, th I think it was france um but even before that the calfion ball which i attended personally which was in long beach california that was also a giant disappointment as well in general so uh, just to, just to give you an idea this was this screenshot is from that giant event in 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 like when the heidel ball happened it that was at france and th this was the community that was the console discord and it was just an absolute massive dumpster fire i also like streamed that live as well and i did a highlight video reacting to all the stuff there and it was a, a pretty it, it was a, it was a mess to say the least so just keep that in mind it, it wasn't exactly a super positive scenario now you might be wondering what this has to do with new world well it's the fact that one of the bigger mmos on console is currently dying out with very little activity and or with very little player activity at least this opens up an opportunity for new world to garner a massive attention and capitalize on a market that is very very open see the good thing about console for an mmo genre style game is that it's such an untapped market to the point where where like any MMO that is even half decent has a giant opportunity to actually garner a dedicated player base that will actually sit there and you know support the game as long as the content is steady and that it's cared for and paid attention to by the developers. A lot of MMOs on consoles have either failed or just straight up died due to not understanding the market and the player base. I've been on Black Desert for over four years now and watched this game from its absolute high to its current absolute low and New World is going to have a giant giant starting player base because a lot of people are going to want to give it a chance and it will most likely die down after a few months not die out the player base will just like calm down and it won't be this massive thing anymore because obviously the players that are giving it a try some are going to stay and some are going to go so it's going to even out and after that couple months that will be most likely the player base that they will sit with for a while now there are two issues with the beta that i have that i think was amazon game studios shooting themselves in the foot which was the beta key debacle and the NDA enforcement that that was a really bad one I think that was the worst thing that they could have done is have an NDA that's not good I know some of you might want to know about the gameplay but like I said unfortunately there is an NDA in fact and unfortunately Amazon Game Studios is enforcing that heavily so I can't show anything that is that I have from the beta but again we'll talk about that in a moment but I will just say what I can say is that my experience was positive I enjoyed it I played with with a company of XPC players that were just testing the game on console and they were showing me the ropes they were giving me all the information on like the OPR stuff the sieges the PvP stuff they even taught me how to like actually PvP the combos and whatnot I was using I think a hatchet shield and then a great axe and the combo on that was super cool where you you know you pop your berserk fury or whatever it's called and then you root them in place do a little combo 
dash to the side and then it auto tracks for you and then you like auto them while your berserk fury's up once that goes down you swap to the great axe and then you start spinning on them and it, it was really cool i like the pvp it's not as stale as people think it is it's actually pretty good but yeah that's pretty much all i can say about the game and all i can really like reveal i just i i I'm too scared of the NDA enforcement that I just can't really speak on too much else. The other thing that I will mention is that you were allowed to create a max level character so you could see whether or not that it was something you're interested in, which I think is a good thing because I gotta be honest, an MMO genre is such a hard thing to invest in because you never know if the journey to get to end game is ever gonna be worth it. So being able to create a max level character I thought was an actual phenomenal touch because you, you kind of get to see, oh, okay. So even if I go through this this, you know long journey of getting to max level finding all this gear and whatnot is it actually going to be worth it in the end and just having a beta test that you know i i i think it's worth it and i think it was definitely worth the investment so um that's why i would like to play the game because i liked the end game i liked what there was i liked the pvp i liked the pve content that was in place as well so in general just being able to see what high level content looks like and feels like i thought was really really good and it that's ultimately what made me change my mind about new world and think it's worth trying so i will i will give them you know some brownie points for that i think that was a great idea and good on them for actually coming up with something that was actually good not to mention you know especially for a game like new world where the devs have basically advertised it as the end game being the you know starting point for real this is a that that's a really good idea to let players see the end game considering that's all they really advertise especially during their like irl real a reveal event at whatever um convention it was I, I don't even remember what it was but i remember watching it and it was really really cool to kind of like see that the devs are paying attention to endgame because currently the gaming space is really about getting to the end game as soon as possible that you know there's an argument to be made whether that's a good thing or bad thing but at the moment the gaming culture is very heavily based around finding the fastest way to end game and then being the absolute best at it so being able to see whether or not the end game is worth a shit is is, is a really good idea so i thought that was a nice touch to let players experience that so there's that however the two issues with the beta that i need to address immediately let's just kind of start with the beta key situation i think having a beta key system in place over just an open beta is severely stupid it's, it's a very stupid option especially when you are trying to break into the console market uh, console is far more casual than pc and most people are willing to kind of just you know like oh this is a free game or this is a free beta i'll just try it out right like that's what people would prefer to do when you start with this whole all right you got to find a beta key you got to sign up for a beta key and you start adding steps to get into the game people are lazy people don't care to do all that right people just want to like okay download play that's it nobody wants to go find a beta key and that brings me to the next issue about the beta is that like the advertisement around it was really really bad and i mean awful mind you i got into the beta on monday of last week right i the beta i don't even know how long the beta was going before monday but pretty much i only got to play the beta for two days and the only reason i even got into the beta is because somebody knew about it and heard about it themselves and then were was willing to tell me about it and then that's what got me into the game if i had not known that person or not had like somewhat of a following on youtube where somebody would have mentioned it to me i would have never been able to get into the beta and that's a problem in itself uh, the fact that i had to go and you know find something and hear word of mouth that's that's really bad there should have just been a giant announcement somewhere and then it should have been advertised properly but like this whole like retweet from razor that happened and then there was like some minor twitter activity it's just like dude what like what are you doing that that's not come on now that's that's not a good idea i think also that if the goal was to stress test your video game then you probably should have just had it as an open beta so that way it could be stress test appropriately because i think that it, it not being stress test with just a beta key system and the fact that nobody really knew that there was a beta key at all or that there was even a beta because let's be real i don't even think a lot of people knew that there was a beta so i don't think they adequately got to stress test their service and whatnot or maybe they wanted to 
limit the, the service so that way they didn't explode or something I, I don't fucking know what the reason is but all I know is that I thought it was stupid and I definitely think the beta key thing that makes sense for PC but I don't think it makes a lot of sense for console I also think that if they had gone with an open beta option they would have seen far more hype and positivity from the console community in order to offset the massive negativity from the current PC community as I mentioned the PC community isn't exactly very happy with new world in general so um, having at least one community being positive about it would have probably been a better idea so uh, now it's still just you know mainly negativity surrounding the game and that's a <laughs> That, that's not great that's just my personal opinion but what's done is done and, and amazon just kind of has to live with what decisions they made and uh, they just kind of have to power through it and hope that it's enough to actually create a positive launch the second issue that i want to bring up is the nda debacle i think that was also very very stupid having an nda and as well as enforcing that nda very heavily for whatever reason like there has been channels that were striked for uploading footage from the beta and streaming the, the beta at which i think is such an awful look considering there's already such a negative reputation from pc the, the last thing you want to do is start slapping content creators on your new platform that want to support your game i also want to point out that the nda wasn't exactly very like well known either because i knew a lot of people in especially in the company that i was in there was quite a few streamers that were actually like messing around and doing stream stuff and they did they had no idea the nda was even real like it was in such like you had to have read the fine print in order to actually you know get into the the nda side of things so they didn't exactly make it very well known either and the fact that it wasn't well known and they're heavily enforcing it it almost feels like a trap which is just oh that's that sucks man even myself I, I was lucky because i almost uploaded and streamed new world and that was actually my plan was to stream new world and showcase the footage and then somebody in the company that i was in happened to actually mention the nda which is the reason why i i did not upload any footage or had stream it at all because i was not you know whenever i hear nda i'm not touching i'm not touching it you know because i just <laughs> this is my job you know what i'm saying so it, it, it sucks but that it, it is what it is so unfortunately i deleted the footage and just kind of had to let it go that's just that just sucks but that's what i had to do it's honestly awful because now i'm just kind of forced to make content like this where i'm just talking about you know the game and instead i should be you know creating content that's highlighting the gameplay and the fun moments that i had playing the game and generate free advertisement and hype for amazon game studios and you know if you want your game to be well received you should let your players actually talk about your game in a positive way and then instead now you have people like me that are discussing this nda nonsense and beta key nonsense and the, the pc community and stuff like that i can't i don't i don't even get to talk about the fun and positive experience i had i just have to talk about this which is it doesn't it's not doing you any favors let's just be honest if you want your game to be well received or at the very least be a topic of discussion you need to let the players slash content creators make content on on the actual game's functionality and gameplay because right now the only thing people are talking about is how pc hates the shit out of your game and hates the company so now all consoles gonna hear and have to look at is just pc hate and you're, you're already getting review bombed on steam i believe and other places as well so it's like uh well like like what is this decision making i don't get it i mean that, that that is quite literally how i decide to buy and invest in certain games is via watching videos and streams and talking to people about their experiences with the game but since the nda is in order and they are heavily enforcing it nobody's really going to talk about the game positively and the channels that you strike down are not exactly going to be very supportive considering you didn't support them when they might have been trying to support your game overall this was a bad decision on their part and they're just going to have a rough pr experience with console doing this kind of behavior plus the watermark stuff of two was honestly stupid as hell I, I don't think that was a good idea either i like whatever i don't i don't know who watermarks their game like what, what, what? I, don't, I don't get it in general though those two things really didn't do them any favors with the console community but it will be overlooked by most casual players just looking for an mmo to play so i guess it's not the world's biggest deal but like just you know people like me take notice of that type of stuff but in conclusion here i think the game itself is fine it's functional i didn't have any major issues i think the pvp systems in place are probably the absolute best out of anything that's currently on the console market i know the general statement that i keep hearing is oh my god bdo's combat is so much better and it's more flashier blah 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 while that statement is is definitely true the pvp systems in place that are in bdo to use that said combat is not better 
Red Battlefield is quite literally one of the worst things I've ever seen on the console market, and the Node Wars slash Siege scene is barely functional and horrifying with lag and terrible balancing. We also do not have Arena of Solaire on console either, so that's like an even more disappointing fact. So while that statement is true that BDO's combat is better and far more flashy than anything that's in probably New World, the systems in place to use that combat are not up to par and New Worlds is far more appetizing to me than anything BDO has to offer currently. The other MMOs on console don't even come close either, such as like Skyforge, Fantasy Star, Neverwinter, DCU Online. Like the best thing I'd have to say that's on console currently that's actually functional is probably Elder Scrolls online. If anything, that's probably New World's biggest competition more than anything else on the current console market, and then probably thrown in Liberty when that does release. So to close things off, I am excited for New World. I think it will do well on console for a while, and as long as Amazon plays their cards right, it could be a household console name for the MMO genre, but this beta and it was kind of a PR nightmare, and to be honest, I, I, I gotta be just a little hopeful here that they see that and move forward with better ideas in mind and actually treat their community a bit better and they should definitely stop enforcing that nda i really think that was a stupid thing to do but overall the game was more than great from my experience i hope the launch is positive with no hiccups or mishaps but that's going to be it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Bye bye